So, um, okay, I um, like part two. Sorry, I just uh, uploaded the other one. Okay. Uh, Can I buy these? They have them for free over there. So, this is uh, part two of uh, the Blaze versus uh, uh, Los Angeles Blaze or Vibe <laughs> and uh, commentary by uh, PD Master Albert Chow. So, Albert, um, it's been an hour since the last time we talked, and uh, uh, what do you think about the game so far? So, um, pictured right now are your Well, I, I would and, say uh, that both of them developed in ways that uh, were somehow um, normal or logical. Uh, the game with Shulman, uh, I thought he had a, a slight advantage, and now it seems as if it's, he is at an advantage of one pawn. So, I think that Shulman has been uh, maneuvering to increase his advantage. And he may in fact have an advantage. So I think I think right now I like Yuri Shulman's position much better. He's one pawn up, and he's such a good calculator that if Black didn't see exactly what he was getting for that pawn, I think he's he's in trouble. Because Yuri's a very good endgame player. What do you think? What would have been Black's plan? Um, by uh, do, you, do you think that there were any any plans at all, or do you think that was just an outright error? Um, you mean Knight B6? He yeah. just sacrificed the A6 pawn, right? Um, I mean, it's possible that, that black will have compensation for pawn anyway. Um, the white queen is still kind of wandering around on the queen side, but I, I would have to do a deeper tactical analysis. I, I frankly don't think that black has enough for a pawn. He probably he probably is being pressured and sacrificed the pawn a little bit out of desperation. So he moved the rook over just now to uh, a, a8. Mm -hmm. uh, the queen will probably go to b5, which is almost forced move. Yeah. Now, as far as uh, Fidel's game, I like I like Josh Fidel Black slightly better in this position, which has become mo sort of like a modern Benoni with colors reversed. And uh, our our player uh, with Black in the blaze, you see, he's got the two pawns in the center on e5 and d4. Mm -hmm. uh, a slight advantage in the center. White has a nice queenside pawn majority, but it's nothing too dangerous. Uh, so I think that Black has uh, already taken a slight advantage in, in that game. So right now I like the blaze uh, positions on both of these games, on boards one and two, and I think that we have a good percentage here. Uh, good chance we could get, I think we'll get at least two draws and maybe a win and a draw. I wouldn't be surprised if this turned into two wins. A little early to predict that for, for, for board two, but I know Josh Fredell is a very classical player, mm -hmm. and if he has this many of his pieces concentrated in the center, I think that he, he generally will find all the good moves. Okay. So, so um, we were talking a little bit about um, about the games that are not being shown. Uh, you you made you made some mention about uh, um, about Dimitri uh, Dimitri's game on board three as well as Sam's game on board four. Um, do, do you have anything to say about the, the other two? I noticed that you were watching uh, those boards pretty carefully the last hour as well. Yeah. Well, I'm of course uh, Abrama Tata uh, Abrami. Um, Abramian. She's uh -huh. very, very uh, tricky tactically, and it looks to me like she's lining, lining up some counter play right now against the H2 okay. pawn. So um, I think that Black is starting to get some of that uh, counter play that Black wants in the King's Indian. So now I'm not as sure about Gurbage's game. I think Black has some counter chances. On the other hand, um, the Schmeichel position, I still like White much better. And I feel like White has a, a good positional advantage on board four. The, um, so, the commentary on, on that board four game, I, I, I seem to be paying more attention to it than most other ones. But uh, it seems like um, there's uh, there's a couple of self self proclaimed like London players or um, college system. They experts. probably like White's position. The, some of them do, but other people are saying that uh, that Albert Lee's not playing it very well. That he's playing it very passively. Um, Savan's opinion, our team owner, uh, is that is is that he shouldn't have chosen that uh, that opening to begin with. But um, well, what, what are some of your ideas like? In, I, like, I thought it was a very good ideas. opening choice against Sam Schmeichel, mm -hmm. who is, as every, as you probably know, he's he's a very hot player. He's been winning all his games. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's time to take him seriously. I think playing safe is a smart idea. Mm -hmm. uh, the players who who think he's, that White's not playing aggressive enough mm -hmm. uh, can take note of all the previous games of Schmeichel's opponent. So mm -hmm. uh, I, th I think playing a safe maneuvering game again, the the, the vibe is the biggest burden on them because a yes. draw a draw result is no good for them right so somehow they need to find a way to win without uh, taking undue risk mm -hmm. and um, I think that that the way white is playing that London system is, is exactly to do that get a small advantage and and let the let the pressure be on black
So I'm still worried about Ward 4. I think mean, White has a nice advantage. Do you think that those uh, maneuvers on the king side with the pawns, um, do, do you think that, that those were those were warranted or, or inspired with the opening? Uh, you mean queen side? Uh, black's side? black's um, advancing on the queen side? Um, yeah, king, uh, white's advancing, uh, white, White's A4 move. Yeah, that's the queen, side. queen side. Yes, that's the queen side advance. Um, you're right. Well, white white has provoked uh, the advance of those queen side pawns, so that uh, black's light sport bishop is blocked in. Mm -hmm. uh, black light sport bishop is, is is bad bishop. Right. So um, this is all very normal. So that's also thematic as well. Yes, it's very normal. White white will soon be aiming for the e, e3 to e4 pawn mm -hmm. break in the center, which can lead to a king side attack. Okay. So, um, yeah, that, that game is very thematic from White's point of view, a position that, as far as I can tell, is known to be a, a plus for White. So Schmeichel um, drifted, I think, into a, an inferior position. That's, that's my opinion. I didn't have a clear equalizing plan. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's good to stay out of the mainline book lines with Schmeichel, who memorize a lot of tactical lines right now. Mm -hmm. um, it's a different approach, but I think it's a smart idea. So. I think I think the the vibe is in the best shape on boards three and four, mm -hmm. but not in very good shape on boards one and two. But even even in a worst case result that somehow Chicago lost two games, I think we're still on pace to at least tie this match okay. with two wins and two losses. All right. Well, thank you very much again, uh, uh, Master Albert Chow. Um, we'll have uh, we'll come back in another hour uh, as soon as I upload this video, and uh, we'll talk about uh, uh, try to talk about all four games again. Uh, then, thank you.